Take a look at our clouds and radar loop. We are completely quiet for the moment. We will be dry from beginning to end in terms of travel, in terms of the morning and the evening drive. Now, as we're heading towards late tonight into the overnight hours, our best shot of this moisture will happen while you're sleeping tonight, but we will see that risk lingering through the morning rush hour from 10 o'clock tonight through about sunrise tomorrow morning, right on the Missouri side of the state line. Basically, the state line is kind of the dividing point. All points east will see this light mix of rain and snow, the potential of it, about a 40% chance as we're heading into your Wednesday. So north along I-29, north along I-35 from Kansas City, Liberty up through Cameron, Bethany, Trenton, Chillicothe, eastbound along I-70 as well. If your plans take you to Columbia, out to St. Louis, that's where we do have the potential that some of the snow could stick on the ground, especially north and east across our viewing area over the next 24 hours. Now, let me get you up to speed with the latest coming in the Weather Center in terms of of totals. This is all going to be light, but it has the potential to cause isolated slick spots in terms of travels we're heading towards tomorrow morning. Now we're going to dusting to an inch. If you live north and east, that's where you'll see better chances of an inch of snow, especially coating on the grassy surfaces, anything elevated from Trent and Chillicothe, north extent of the I-35 corridor. Here in Kansas City, I would go closer to the dusting half inch for the majority of the state line, but watching out for potential travel impacts. I do expect mostly wet roadways. Temperatures are going to be close to freezing. Tomorrow morning. So I think mainly just slushy at best, but isolated slick spots. Certainly a potential. Something we want you to know about. And so many of you are going to be traveling here as we're heading into your Wednesday. Now, as we're moving into our holiday on Thursday, clouds, even a few flurries, highs in the 30s. Then look at Friday and Saturday. Wow, those are the two shining days of the seven day forecast Friday and Saturday. Sunday, another cold front, and back into the 30s in terms no. of temperatures to end the weekend.